Welcome to Math is Fun. Let's enjoy learning about equal, greater, or less than. As well as the familiar equal sign, it is also very useful to show if something is not equal to, greater than, or less than. These are the important signs to know. When two values are equal, we use the equal sign. Example, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. When two values are definitely not equal, we use the not equal to sign. Example, 2 plus 2 is not equal to 9. But when one value is smaller than another, we can use a less than sign. Example, 3 is less than 5. And when one value is bigger than another, we can use a greater than sign. Example, 9 is greater than 6. Less than and greater than. The less than sign and the greater than sign look like a V on its side, don't they? To remember which way around the less than and greater than signs go, just remember. Big, greater than, small. Small, less than, big. The small end always points to the smaller number, like this. Example. 10 is greater than 5. Or the other way around. 5 is less than 10. Do you see how the symbol points at the smaller value? Or equal to. Sometimes you know that a value is smaller, but may also be equal to. Example, a jug can hold up to four cups of water. So how much water is in it? Until you measure it, all you can say is less than or equal to four cups. To show this, we add an extra line at the bottom of the less than or greater than symbol, like this, the less than or equal to sign, the greater than or equal to sign. Here is a summary of all the symbols. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 1 plus 1 is not equal to 1. 5 is greater than 2. 7 is less than 9. Marbles are greater than or equal to 1. Dogs are less than or equal to 3. Why would you use these? Because there are things you do not know exactly, but can still say something about. So we have ways of saying what you do know, which may be useful. Here's an example. John had 10 marbles, but lost some. How many has he now? Answer, he must have less than 10. If John still has some marbles, we can also say he has greater than zero marbles. Marbles greater than zero. But if we thought John could have lost all his marbles, we would say marbles greater than or equal to zero. Combining. You can sometimes say two or more things on the one line. Example. Becky starts with $10, buys something, and says, I got change, too. How much did she spend? Answer. Something greater than $0 and less than $10, but not $0 or $10. What Becky spends is greater than $0. What Becky spends is less than $10. This can be written down in just one line. That says that $0 is less than what Becky spends. In other words, what Becky spends is greater than $0. And what Becky spends is also less than $10. Notice that the greater than was flipped over to less than when we put it before what Becky spends. Always make sure the small n points to the small value. Changing sides. We saw that in the previous example, that when we change sides, we flip the symbol as well. This, Becky spends is greater than zero dollars, is the same as this, 
Zero dollars is less than what Becky spends. Just make sure the small end points to the small value. Here is another example using the greater than or equal to and less than or equal to symbols. Example. Becky has $10 and she's going shopping. How much will she spend without using credit? Answer. Something greater than or possibly equal to $0 and less than or possibly equal to $10. This can be written down in just one line. Have a try at the Your Turn questions at the end of mathisfun.com forward slash equal dash less dash greater dot html. Bye for now. <laughs>